Hello. Two people resubscribe all the way. That's awesome. Uh, I promise I'll do another art stream soon. I've just been, I've been doing stuff on my own. And when I do stuff on my own, it's usually on pen and paper. Because I can't be asked to get out all the paint and crap. I'm a painter at heart, I just can't fucking be asked to get the paint out. So I have to do other things. Which is why um, stuff like that is good. Stuff like um, side paint or whatever. But anyway, uh, I'm going to play game dev right now because that's what I'm feeling right now. I've been doing art all day, so I just don't feel like doing art right now. Um, it happens. I'm trying to take my own advice in hand and do, you know, a little bit of everything, you know? Try and take care of myself in, in every single way, you know? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then eventually have a, um, a good thing going, you know what I mean? Just because it's important to take care of yourself, you know what I mean? There's this weird border on the side, and... Okay, well... That doesn't look great, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but you know what? It's pretty good. Alright. Make a good game. That's not what Dongle Box is about, man. Um, so, people were saying, oh, you should hire more people. Uh, I think right now what we need to do is we need to... Uh, keep the hits coming, please. Alright, got it. Uh, we're gonna generate a game report real quick. Cowboy. Which was our uh, Wild West RPG strategy game with uh, Bad Company. This is one of the songs on it. Done by Bad Company. Uh, not by Five Finger De Death Punch. Uh, they can go fuck themselves. I think we need to have someone who does the research stuff. And to do that, we're going to have to um, really start cranking um, this guy through, through the wash. Hector is going to have to be... Pretty, pretty fucking uh, buff in order to do that. Uh, research, I need to have um, orchestral soundtrack. I mean, all these things are great. Like online play, multi-platform optimized. Let's get that real quick because that's, that's actually very important. It'd be nice to be able to release things on other stuff. I want to make a game that's for the, like, the 360 and the iPhone. I think that would be fucking hilarious. Um, this is like, I think our probably sixth or seventh hit in a row. Uh, I don't think I've gotten a 10 or out of 10 in this game yet. Wild West and RPG strategy is a good combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important. Uh, the, I, dyslexia kicked in there and I read it as impreg. Uh, is important and genre match is good. Audience match is good. All right. I kind of want Hector to be, um, our, our guy who does the research stuff. Because there's, like, a, there's a thing for that. Like, a, a, he can be trained. Like, he can be the, the guy. Good night, dick, butt lord. I, I'm not insulting this guy. His name is literally the dick butt lord. I'm just letting people on After Hours know because that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, you're leaving? Go fuck yourself, dick butt lord. No. It, no. We're chill. Um, um, so let's train this guy. I'd like for him to be a uh, design specialist, maybe. Or even, like, um, do any of these things. We don't have enough RP to do these things. I wonder if I could do, like, maybe... Like, have all of our guys do different things. We'll, we'll do another game. Um. Would he be offended if you called him Bit Butt Dick Lord? I mean. I'd hope not. I mean, his butt is literally. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Um. Post apocalyptic. That seems like something that could be a mature game. Um. There's no particular trends right now. What 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 have we released in the past? Game history. The last one was a while, uh, RPG strategy, so we should probably not do one of those. Action. I mean, look at these hits coming out. Like, 8.5, and then I can wash you. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe, maybe a ninja game. Or, um, how about... 
Hmm. Hmm. A music game? Hey, cat. How are you doing? How about a, a music simulation strategy game? Uh, for the the inbox and the PC, because we know it's good for that, and just the fucking uh, what what else is holding on to the market? Do we have stuff for the PS3? We do. Okay, so we can just do that. We'll use Game Engine 4, the one that we didn't name. Uh, we'll make a medium game. It's going to be expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, and it needs to be a music strategy simulation game. Um, Nin Ninrari has subscribed for 21 months. Holy fuck. Osu, the tactical RPG. Um, 21 months. Can we stop for a second? 21 fucking months. Holy shit. Um, thank you. Uh, how about, um... Hmm. I like the idea of Recorder Hero. Um... How do you spell sousaphone? What the fuck is a sousaphone? It's like a huge- it's that big old trumpet thing you see at like marching bands and stuff. I'm not sure why I thought of a sousaphone just now, but I figure the sousaphone related uh, game. Here's a sousaphone for you. Um, I figure we should make a sousaphone related game. And I've learned how to spell sousaphone. It's one of the, the things you gotta do if you're a game dev is you gotta research the, the material. Um, um, sousaphone villain. Am I spelling villain right? It would probably be good to spell villain right. I'm just having one of those days where I can't fucking spell anything. Um, no, I, A before I except after Y is, is probably a rule somewhere in some history book. Because it's history, not, um, English. Sousaphone, sousaphone villain. He just run up behind people and go, Burr! Um, and it's a simulation strategy game. It's good. Uh, we'll start development. Then we had to look up Yul's small dick. No, he just sends that picture. Um, multiplayer. Is multiplayer important for this? See, we've got a bit too much. Um, simple cutscenes. Alright, what's important for a simulation strategy game? Okay. Character progression, probably. Uh, I'm willing to bet that, um... I don't even know if Rev can English. Can even English. Well, apparently I fucking can't, because I can't even read. Uh, make a sequel to Yul's Small Dick. Okay. Um, I'd like to get, like, multi-genre. Uh, if- or multi-topic. Um, let's see. What's important to a simulation strategy? Probably, like, gameplay? Less on the story. Story could probably take a huge nosedive. Um, like, simple cutscenes. Just to have something going for it. And full motion video? Branching story. No. Um, engine... I'm not entirely sure what they mean by engine, but I think engine is not very important for this. Also, let's, um... Turn off, friends. Um... Yeah, that should be good. Let's go and hype this thing. You know, people need to know about the Sousaphone villain uh, franchise. It's going to be serious. We're going to pump those out like every three months or so until people are tired of us. And then we'll fall off into obscurity. Does anyone remember the last time there was a Guitar Hero game? It sold uh, 72 million in sales. Yeah, I'm not sure what they mean by engine, really, which is part of the problem. Uh, dialogues, not important. Uh, artificial intelligence, probably important. Level design, we're gonna go, like, halvesies on that. Engine is kind of important in strategy games. Well, this game might suck, then. 
Engine covers stuff like physics, rendering, audio systems. Um, a low-rated engine would give you something like Skyrim and flying horses. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it, it's not like um, the mechanics of it. That's more of um, uh, gameplay. All right, uh, graphics apparently are important. I would imagine that sound is important for a music game. World design we can probably come down on. Hector is freaking the fuck out. So we're going to switch out with him. Uh, we need realistic sousaphone physics. That's true. Um, big studio and only three employees. Yeah, we should probably... Um, should probably crank that a bit. Um, world design, we probably don't need an open world sousaphone game. Although that does seem fucking hilarious. So I'd rather have that over a rich backstory. You don't need to know why, you just need to be able to go around and fuck things up. And, and just burp anywhere you want, you know? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Sousaphoning. How much does this chat meme? It's like a, a one meme uh, a minute sort of situation. It's not a high meme per second. Our, our, our M MPS, I guess it is, is pretty low. Anyway, we'll go with that. Sousaphone villain. We're going to release this sack of shit. And um, then we're going to let Hector go on break. What, what does a sousaphone sound like? This is a video called Playing a Sousaphone. Ah, uh, Louie Louie. Every mom and dad's favorite song for their brass instrument playing child. Um, let's, let's release this thing. It, it's kind of a farty instrument. I'm sorry to any, like, people who have spent their life, um, working on, you know, learning how to play sousaphone. Um, special training is available for, for people. We're gonna generate a game report, see why we got what we got, what did we get. Wow. Um, falls a bit short. Star Games. Okay. Uh, artificial intelligence served this game well. Okay. Fun at stages, and um, has its moments. A solid 5 out of 5, which makes it uh, sort of like getting a really solid D. That didn't, I didn't mean for that to be sexual, but it just sort of came out that way. Um, how about you do, uh, can you do some training? I don't know what of these games are good for who. So you need technology. So what do these do we think? Um, code incomplete. That's probably a... And then you're going to do... We're going to get them all to be doing some sort of training and we'll figure out what they're for. Um, so you're you're another... Um, you're kind of middle of the road guy, right? That's right. You're, but you're slightly slanted towards technology. Um... Game design for pirates. Sure. Yeah. Large booth. Fuck it. Large booth for Sousaphone villain. I mean, it's still doing pretty good. And it'll probably make back what we... S yeah. We just don't say what we got. You know, five out of what? Um... Oh, these are the ones that we should probably be going with. Uh, game jam. Okay. Innovation challenge. Sure. Alright, what happened? Uh, music and mature is not a good combination. Ah, that was our problem, probably. Um, let, let's train myself up a little bit as well. Um, R&D course. Sure. Research and development. 
everyone's it's leveling up on stuff, and then after we're done leveling up, let's see how we do. We've done better every single year. Let's see if we can actually do better. Okay, I think we are. We did better than last year, I think. Uh, we were voted number one booth this year. That is the best we've ever done, obviously. That's that's pretty cool, considering our game sh fucking sucked. We haven't trained much. No, we've been uh we've been kind of holding that on the sidelines. Kind of um, I'd like to boost. But, uh, programming course, you are, you cannot do that. Do we get research points for this? No. Alright, so we'll just do some, uh, cheap-ass training. Uh, make me think. Sure. Number one booth, uh, 2007 or 8, I'm not sure what year we're in now. Um, train? Uh, game dev G... Uh, gems. Sure. We're just gonna use up the last little couple of points that we've got. Um, and that way we can we can really get into figuring out what we're doing. Uh, game jam. Yeah. Go for it, man. And then um, since we can't research anything, we can't really do anything, we'll find some contract work. Maybe some easy contract work that I can fucking do on my own. Wow, none of this is easy. Playtest. Yeah, we can playtest a game. It would really suck if we couldn't do this. Like, we cannot play a game well enough. Oh, it's gonna come down to the wire. Okay, we did it. That pays for some of the research that we did. Thanks for the name. No worries, dude. Yeah, the, the Stardew stuff, or the, uh, After Hours really does help a lot of people. And it's nice for me because it's like, I don't have to fret as much if I stream the same stuff or if I stream for long amounts of time. Like, people will catch up eventually. They just pick whatever their favorite one is and they just watch that. Based on analytics, that's what I can tell people are doing is they're just, they're basically just waiting until whatever they want comes back and then they'll, they'll watch that. They'll binge watch it for like, a day. I just set a day aside. Uh, that's the best I can tell is going on. Uh, a vocabulary game called uh, a medium budget. Young. Uh, it'll be a action vocabulary game. Right? I, I misclicked there. It's casual. Uh, it'll be for the... Uh, let's get that iPhone. Yeah. Let's get that iPhone shit going on. Uh, we'll put it on PC as well. Young is not a huge thing here. But, uh, might as well. I mean, we fucking have the thing for it. Um. I don't imagine the 360 is really all that young. Um. Uh, enabled. Right? Why are those vending machines so fucking huge? So that way you can see them. Uh, I would imagine. Don't do action. Just casual then? Like, what is action casual? I'm thinking it's like, um... Actually, what is action casual? Casual is like Angry Birds. You know? Like, not a particularly difficult game. Um... Alright, I'm gonna try and... Uh, I'm gonna shift my fingers over, and I'm gonna try and type the sentence, um, how do I words? That was pretty okay. I kind of found home row in the end, and that's, that's, um, that's good enough. Alright, we'll go with that. Action casual game. Actually, maybe we should just make it casual. Just casual. Uh, they're making a tablet device that no one will fucking care about. The impad is the, uh, the iPad equivalent. 
All right, so what's important? Probably not engine, apparently. Uh, story and quest is probably very important. Um, gameplay? We should probably put uh, high enough that we can have all these things. Uh, engine? We don't need mod support. They don't fucking care. Okay. Um, they don't care about branching story either. Like, probably... Okay, everyone's happy with this. No story or quest, no engine. Story and quest seems important. Like... Actually, I guess it really isn't. Oh well. He needs story in a vocabulary game. Gameplay's probably more important, they just want some casual, good gameplay. I got work, uh, yeah, I'll talk about my game. Uh, what is your expectations regarding the success of how to thrive words? Do you think the game will be rel well received? I'll be modest, because I really don't think it'll be good. Uh, I'm gonna hype it up. Uh, we'll, we'll do a large campaign, because I literally don't know how to spend money. Level design is apparently very important. Artificial... Uh, I, I imagine that dialogue is kind of important for a casual game, but not ultra important, so maybe there. Be modest? Yeah, I don't actually think this game's gonna be good. I think this game's probably gonna suck dick, actually. Um, but, you know. It hurts our sales if we try- I mean, I don't know why there's so much hype. There's more hype for this game than there is for whatever that last game we made, Sousaphone Villain. Um, did anyone play Puzzle Pirates? Yes, that was actually a really kind of cool game. Oh, it's the Wii U. Um, yeah, that, that was a thing. That is my dedicated YouTube viewing device now. Um, it doesn't need a day-night cycle or any of that. It doesn't need world design. Just fucking no. Um... Just gonna say it has a procedurally generated universe. Okay. Uh, Bees McBees is apparently a little bit stressed. So, Kevin, get in there, jump in. Uh, sound and graphics. Just, I think graphics are gonna be more important. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a risk thinking that. 18 quintillion words. Puzzle Pirates is cool. It was a cool game to play with friends because it's like, uh, you kinda. Uh, they're looking to sponsor us. And I thought it would be per What? Game, uh, to get more women in technology. Well, we have a mostly male group, but sure. 80k to make people like us more. Um, this is, this is well before, uh, people got really, really pissy about women being talked about when it came to video games. So, this will only help us. Um... Yeah, we'd love to see more women in the gaming industry. Um, whereas, uh, what's her name over here? Who I can't remember her name. And also, what is going on with my window? Um, I just realized there's some weird ass shit going on. I wonder how long that's been like that way. I mean, this, this game apparently is going to be the shit. This is going to be the next fucking Angry Birds. Uh, due to the fall... Right, Marion, that's her name. Um... Cooperative play, 3D graphics. We just figured out cooperative. Uh, let's see. Okay. Falls a bit short. Well, I'm glad we were modest. Six. Could have been better. Uh, I like it. This is Game Hero. And, uh, shows potential, says all games. I'd imagine that it either doesn't get you anything or it gets you not losing anything let's generate a game report on why how do I words was bad um, what is going on with my screen why is it like this game why are you like this hold on let me uh 
Let me just pause the game real quick and fix this situation. Um, oh, okay, let's just... Uh, sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Alright, well... Oh, please stop doing things. Um, let me actually fix you. Nice desktop, I know, right? Um, how about we just... Uh, we'll remove that, and we'll recapture it, and... Uh, Game Dev Tycoon, select region, select region, select region. Okay, it's just gonna look fucking weird, because this game is coded like a pile of dicks. Uh, sorry about that. Don't know why. Why is my desktop so boring? I never got around to changing it after I got this computer. Alright, um, well, we did the research. We're gonna, uh, we're just gonna do all of these until we know what the fuck does what. This looks like it's gonna be a game design thing. I mean, we are leaders in this industry, so I'm not sure why we have to go to take lessons. But okay. Uh, also, we have a... No, I'm alright. How about you don't send me emails? Is that real? We'll get around to changing it? I guess I should. We'll make a large booth for, uh, this game. And then, uh, we'll do some more training. We're just doing some general training. Code Jam. Yeah. How long has Rev been streaming? Uh, 26 minutes and 52 seconds, apparently, according to Moobot. You can always do exclamation point uptime to figure that out. RPG games are incredibly popular right now. Okay. So once, uh, once these guys are done doing their thing, we'll, uh... We'll start making an RPG. Send on vacation. Go on vacation for like a day. So people are coming in to play our iPhone game. And this is an actual fucking thing that happens at these like conventions. You go up to a booth and like especially if you got like a camera crew with you or whatever. They're like, you need to come talk to us. I'm like, okay, sure. Because I've done this before. And that makes it sound like I'm bragging. Humble brag. I've had friends offer to help me out to record shitty videos. That actually... Okay, anyway, so you go to these things and they've got, like, some iPhone game and they're like, this is gonna be the next big thing. And then you, like... You go and actually fucking play it and it's just like... The, the, the iPhone itself is gross. Because people have been coughing on it and the game itself was boring. Number one booth again this year. Um, just waiting for Kevin to get done. Uh, I guess we could do some um, some contract work in the meantime. Just tell he's oh he's done now. He's done now. Um, okay. Uh, let's develop a new game. It needs to be a medium game. Uh, it's gonna be an RPG. Um, let's see, a, let's see. Dungeon RPG? Hunting RPG. Mystery RPG. Werewolf RPG. Transport RPG. Business RPG. Superhero RPG. Racing, dancing, time travel, Wild West, government. Um... Military RPG. It's not really a thing. Sci-fi RPG? Yeah, sure. RPG action. Uh, for the inbox and for the play system and for the PC. We're just going to do whatever the big systems are. Have I, did I ever play Quake? Yeah. It's a good game. Fantasy or medieval? Government RPG? Um, you could try it. How about a uh, government RPG simulation? And it'll be called, um, how much shit can I get away with? You play a congressman. I'm sorry. I mean, you need to select an engine. It's 
so that way it's not a, a text-based game in fucking 2010. Um, or whatever year this happens to be. Did I already do the game dev sim yet? Yeah. Got the achievement for it. Alright, so it's a RPG simulation. Um, let's see. I think story is probably pretty important. Simulation is an engine based thing. Gameplay is probably going to be the low point. So do I think RPG... So RPG is first, so I'm betting that's, that's the way we got to do it. In gameplay, we need... Um, character progression seems fairly important in an RPG. That seems like one of the only things that are really a thing, right? Uh, branching story would be great, you know? Either you fuck up the government or you don't. Uh, mod support? Sure. We'll be like Bethesda. Except for then later we'll be like, don't do that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll about face again. And hopefully people won't remember. Uh, simple cutscenes? We'll switch that out for, um... Okay, apparently we won't. Simple cutscenes it is then. Uh, how do our words was taken off the market and earned us a uh, little less than nine million? That's not bad. Snowden, Snowden simulator. Oh, we could have called it Snowed In. Oh, that would have been so good. I kind of want to remake this game. Um, we'll, we'll switch it out. Snowed In. It's about being uh, in Russia and having to hide from the American government. Um, artificial intelligence and in government? Probably not. Dialogue is probably important in RPGs. Um, level design is probably the least important of these. Uh, oh. We're gonna have to cut something. Gotta blow my nose, hold on. Backing away from the mic. <laughs> oh, that's gross. You can rename it for the end? Okay, we're doing that then. Um, is Olaf involved? No, not yet. Uh, dialogue, level design. It's just not important. Mini games? I think Easter eggs should be a thing. Like, maybe if you, like, look ultra hard, you can maybe find a functioning government in there somewhere enough political commentary for the day I think uh, in two months the new will be taken off the market and we didn't develop shit for it um, Hector you need to get your shit together and stop developing bugs start developing games not bugs and I say that while Bees McBees actively throws a bug in there it's out of spite because he knows Hector is gonna be the one um, pulling it out later but then Hector knows this, so he started, uh, <laughs> open world. No. Uh, not for Snowden. Uh, rich backstory. Sure. Uh, there was a documentary. I need to get around to watching that at some point. Um, day-night cycle. Sure. Uh, for an RPG, a little bit of world design. It's probably not the worst thing in the world. Soundtrack? Eh. I don't know what kind of thing he likes listening to. Um, sound, I, I figure, is less important. Because it's an RPG, so world design's probably important. You can rename the game when you complete it. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Let's get all this stuff out, and, uh, oh, we need to start marketing this shit. Uh, we'll have another large campaign. We only make large campaigns. The new is no longer supported. We didn't develop shit for it because it was an awful system. Um, it's not actually that awful, but it's just like, yeah. It doesn't need a soundtrack. It's just... Okay, can we stop developing the bugs? There we go. Get those bugs out of there. There we go. Look at that speed that we're doing this. Oh, and a couple extra points at the end there. Um, and we're gonna rename this, um, Snowed. 
in. Yeah. Is that how you spell snowed? I, it, snow is not a thing that happens here in Texas, so... Uh, snowed... In. Yeah, okay. I was actually gonna be in a punk band called Snowed In at one point. Spelled like that. True facts. There was a later change to Battlesuit. Which is an amazing fucking name for a band, and I'm really sad that didn't go anywhere. Uh... Okay, I guess it's now called How Much Shit Can I Get Away With? Fine. Great! It's the Star Games. Um, they achieved a great balance between technology and design. Very enjoyable, says Game Hero. And, um, love it, says All Games. I forgot to confirm the edit. Oh. Well, let's generate a game report. Yeah. Alright, and let's do some training. Let's figure out what time trials are about. And in the meantime, why don't you... Uh, go do Don't Repeat Yourself. And you can do Product Management, whatever the fuck that happens to be. And we'll see what everyone comes up with. There's a bug on my screen. I don't know what kind of bug that is. It's just sort of something. Wonder how many more I will sell. That's a good question. How much shit can I get away with? It was recently received... Okay. For music, it would have gone platinum. Wow. It's actually doing really well. Um, we just make money hand over hand. It's partly because we released an RPG game when RPGs were hot. Which is always good. Uh, government RPG simulation is a bad combination. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game. Uh, that's good and that's great. Great. When are we playing The Forest again? Uh, I tried to message uh, Mike before I started streaming, but he didn't pick up, so... It's okay. We'll figure it out. Tomorrow I want to do Hearthstone, because the expansion comes out. I, every week I think that it's fucking Wednesday and not Thursday, and I don't know. Alright, so what do these fucking things do? And in order to be a design specialist, we need, uh, 700 design. Okay. In order to have boost, we need to have 500 in something. So, I'm thinking that, uh, Hector, he needs to start being the design guy. Or I could start being the design guy. What is the best design course I could take? I want as many design points as possible. So, game design is pretty good. Design, research, and speed would be what I want to look for. Is that an option? Research, design, design, technology, research, design, technology, res uh, it kind of seems like you just pick one, uh, and that's what you go for. We can get specialization, holy shit. Alright, why don't we go with this one? Because there's not really one that's design, speed, and research. Um, we'll do a game design course. And everyone else, don't you think you get your fucking week without having to work? You're going to be doing um, as much work as I can pump you out for. Better to fire and rehire. I mean, someone seems to have stolen our credit card information and used to buy a lot of things in the past three months. Unfortunately, we have lost... I'm sorry, how much? One million dollars. Who the fuck? What happened? No, you can't just be like, we we just lost a million dollars. A million dollars, that is a lot of money. That would be newsworthy. Um, okay, game. How did we even not notice that we lost a million dollars? Yeah, somebody's fucking responsible that, for that shit. I mean, we did just make 26 million dollars, but that's a lot of money. Um... Uh, and then we failed the assignment. 
I'm sorry, guys. Do you you fucking know what your job is? Go on vacation. Go to go to the Bahamas. Think about what the fuck you're supposed to be doing here at Dongle Box. We are we are a multi-million dollar company, and we just lost a million dollars. And you know what? I'm not gonna sweat it. And you know why? Because you're all gonna work it fucking off. You guys aren't working until we make that money back. And you're not making money until we make that money back. Come back. Get your shit together. Me and Hector, we're gonna play test some shit game while you're gone, and we're gonna tell you about it. <sighs> Number one booth for three years in a row. Because we're fucking badasses like that. Alright, I think what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna continuously research and increase myself. Get more people? Okay. Uh, what do we think? Because this, this does not fucking do shit. Um. You should play Super Mario 64 Real Good Edition one day. I have no idea what that is. Um. What do we need? Because right now we've got, um, we've got Hector, who's like our, our design guy, and I'm a design guy. Uh, Kevin is, I believe, a tech guy, and then Mer Marion, what is your name again? You're kind of middle of the road. Um, max the budget just to show our power? Okay. So what do we need? Get one of each. Okay. So, I mean, because Showreel, game demo is like the middle of the road one, where Showreel is mostly design, complex algorithms, mostly the technology stuff. Um, I think we're going to do complex algorithms. Because we need to have, like, uh... We need another tech guy. So that way we could have, like, two kind of middle of the... Or middle of the road kind of guy, a design guy, or two design guys and a tech... couple of tech guys. That's right, yeah. So complex algorithms will spend two million dollars looking for someone. You go on vacation. You don't get to go to the Bahamas. That's too far for you. Um... Out of nowhere... A new company called Kick It has kicked up a media storm by successfully crowdfunding and developing a new game console in just under eight hours. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. The... Oh, yeah. Uh, similar technology as modern phones. I'll be under a hundred CR. Wow, that's not a unit of money. I mean... We should develop for it. It's going to be the next big thing. I know it. Alright, so Tom references. Um, so this guy didn't understand how to... Um, fill out his application. And instead of putting where his references are supposed to be, he just put the word references at the top. Uh, Jane Lean uh, does not understand what the fuck design is. Is just a one-track mind of design. Uh, Johnny Rome. Not to be confused with the Ramones. Rick, Eric Richards. Sip Meyer. Uh, not to be confused with Sid Meyer. Um, I'm a little bit... I mean, Jane Lean would be amazing. Um, she's pretty good. Um, Sip Meyer might be good too. 420 Research? Who is 420 Research? If it's Jane Lean, then I'm gonna lose my shit. Tom references. Oh, Johnny Rome has 420 Research. 619 Technology is not bad. Jane? Jane or Riot? Doesn't have as good research as, uh... But we, we can... We can make that up. That technology, though. Like, most technologically advanced person we've ever hired. We can now do larger games. We need to train you with a welcome, uh, to staff training. This is a hazing ritual. Everyone gets just, like... You come in, I just bash you in the face with a beer bottle. And then just start screaming. You know, you gotta, you gotta get people in line right off the bat, understanding where I am, what their place is. And if they don't understand that, they need to get the fuck out the door. Talknology. 
Uh, do you think Rev would play good fan games to counter Vinny's bad fan games? Yes. I will play good or bad fan games. The number of dedicated fans have we, um, uh, we'll give it away. That's our, that's how we've been doing things. Um, all right, uh, let's see, develop a sequel, contract work, um, she needs to get settled in. So while she's getting settled in, we'll find some contract work and we'll do some game backdrops. It costs us money. I don't fucking know why. Uh, money is something we don't have a shortage of. Wood hire again. Okay, good. Contract work. Um, 88 design is pretty hard. Playtest, sure. Just trying to do all of the stuff we can while we're waiting for her to, like, get her shit together. And she should be done by the time that, you know, this is over. So we'll see how good she is. No, she's still not done. We're just contract working out the ass, because we can't really use her until uh, she's done. So, we'll just do this. I mean, look at us go. Look at us fucking go. There you go. You don't understand anything about design. That's why... That's my job, you know? Alright, let's make a new game. Actually, um, can we... Uh, do some research real quick. Research. Always writing down notes. Always be writing down those notes. Large n games we can actually get. We're going to research that. Everyone else, uh, do some contract work while I'm gone. Vacuum robot. Make her vacuum robot. I know you're game designers, but basically it's the same thing. You know? Look at him go. Totally sucking the dick. And not being able to complete the task on time. Uh, now that you have 250,000 fans, you, which, uh, you should be able to publish large games. Yep. We have well over that, but okay. Um, let's develop a new large game. Maybe we should get another person. Should we get another person? Um, is there a Rev Flash game? Not that I've seen yet. Um. Should we get another person? We could spend another two million getting another person. We can get two more people. We could get another design person and another middle of the road person. Let's do that. Game demo. Two million. I think this is the design one. If it's the middle of the road one, then we'll just go with that. Alright, so this is the middle of the road one, so we want them to be kinda, kinda in the middle. You kinda suck, but Katie is looking pretty good. Uh, Katie Reyes, which I believe is the last name of, uh, Reaper from Overwatch. So, um, she could probably just bust out a Death Blossom. So I'm not sure if I want that. Just come in here and start shooting randomly. Probably listen to Linkin Park. Or disturbed. Um, and do I want that in my office? Especially when uh, Colby Vargas could be here. I mean, Colby, I could just call him the cheese man. That's pretty cool. Um, but Katie is pretty good. Um, but is he better or is she better than Colby? No, I think Colby. Derek Hale is a fucking werewolf. What? Where what? Colby looks cute. All right, we'll we'll go with Colby. Uh, Colby the Cheese Man. Uh, and then we'll have someone come in and do show reels. I don't want to have someone busting out a Death Blossom here. Uh, we'll do the traditional glass breaking over face situation. Um. Colby has terrible speed. Well, shit. Bill J. Allen. Meguro Mayomoto. Um, he's pretty good at design. Uh, Zachary Reyes. Uh, what is going on there? Do you see that? There's like 
design, and then there's like a little bit of technology, and then design on the side again. Miyamoto, Hector Wheeler. <laughs> Hector, what the fuck are you doing with yourself? I mean, we already have a Hector. Uh, but I fucking love that he has one fucking technology. That's fucking beautiful. Um, but Shiggy? Should we get Shiggy? He's got pretty good speed. He's acting for very little money in comparison to everyone else. Um, and it's also Shiggy Diggy. Um, I'm thinking we get Shiggy, right? Door giveaway? What? The fuck are you talking about? Shiggy Diggy? Alright, we're gonna get Shiggy Diggy. We have the maximum number of employees. That's good. We're gonna have to do the, um, smashing the glass on Shiggy. Um... We're just gonna wait for things to happen. We'll get a large booth. I don't even remember what the last fucking game we released was. Uh, we've been just increasing our, our, our office size. Just walked in, bust a glass over his face, being like, what's up, bitches? The industry seems to have silently accepted the slow demise of PC games as more and more games are primarily developed for consoles. There seems to be a resurgence of the PC market. What? Just as the industry seems to... Oh, okay. Uh, just as the industry was seeming to accept that. Uh, the PC market will grow stronger in the coming years. Good thing we've been developing for that for fucking years. Um... How much shit can I get away with? That was the last game we did. Can we get in the top box again? We're going to need at least... that. That's pretty close. That may not be enough, though. We were number one. Good job. I fucking can't read. Oh, shit. The Oya has been released. I mean, too bad we've got all this situation going on, or we could uh, be getting in on that shit. Uh, everyone seems to be stressed out and not working. Um, so we're just kind of waiting. Can we, can we do contract work? Someone wants us to make a fucking space shuttle. We need to install Microsoft Office on a computer. That was easy. Um. I mean, I'd fucking do that for however much money that was. That was a lot of money. I'd install Microsoft on a bunch of computers. Character design. Uh, just put dicks on their foreheads. Yeah, there you go. $32,000 for that? Yep, done. That, that is, um, that is art. It's not good ideas they're paying you for, it's quick, easy ideas they can implement forever. That they'll be known for, and they'll be like, yes. We have the top minds. That's not actually what design is about at all. Um... We did it. Uh, continue to do that contract work. Usability study, sure. Uh, do you need to go on vacation or something? Like, does everyone need to fucking go on vacation? Like, what's, what's going on? All right, everyone goes on vacation. While we wait for uh, the cheese man to get his shit together. All right, let's develop a new game. A large game, because we got the money for that ship. Right? It's going to be... Uh, what do we want to make? There's no particular trends in the market right now. So we can make whatever we want. I think we need to make... A mystery game. Right? It's a mystery action adventure. 
adventure game for the PC. Um, the inbox and the PS3. And it's going to be for uh, the game engine 4. And uh, it's going to be called Can You Find Mules Dick? The answer is no. It's one of those games that, like, it, it makes you think that you have a choice in how it ends up, but you can't win. You'll never win. Uh, gameplay is ultra important to this. We've got a fuck ton of people working on this game. Um, can we have multiple people working on something? No. Um, so why do we have so many people hired? So we could just max everything out, right? Is that possible? Can we just, like, do everything? And then we've got people waiting in the wings to take over on shit? Have you heard about that incident uh, in the Pokemon anime? The the one where they cause seizures to happen? Yeah. Um, I mean, seven is a lot. No? So we should actually, like, manage this in a way that makes sense? It's an RPG and an action game, so story is important for... Maxing the bars just balances everything. Okay, so uh, the engine is probably the least important thing. We need to have just the basic stuff like save to cloud and all that. Story and quests, we can bring down a bit. Branching story, no. There's one storyline for this. We're going to bring this down as much as possible. Right to there. And uh, there we go. Chad is now discussing whether or not nihilism is a good philosophy or not. As you would expect when we uh, talk about the game, Can You Find Joel's Dick? Um, I just got word that you'll be making a new game. Yeah. Uh, what is my expectations on how... I mean, this is going to be a great game. It's going to be a great game. We're just developing bugs. Oh, proposition, decrypt message. Uh, if you want to play war games, we'll initiate. I mean, do we really need to? Because I don't really feel like we need to bring other people down right now. Um, it doesn't seem like we need to. We're pretty much like number one booth every single year, right? So what? what's the point, right? So I'm thinking nah. I'm thinking nah. We don't need to. We're the best. We don't need to sabotage other people because we can sabotage ourselves. Um, we're going to bring dialogues to about here. Artificial intelligence needs to go up. Level design is apparently second most important. We'll switch out people here in a second. Dialogue will be like right about here. And then we're going to have um, we're gonna have totally different people work on artificial intelligence and stuff. Jane... Get over there. Shiggy Diggy. You know how to do uh, the game design. And Colby. Cheese Man. Dialogues. That's your that's your new jam. Kevin, you take a back seat on this one. Uh, this and this. Yul's dick has AI. Yeah, apparently so. It's a long adventure. You get like a fucking microscope out. You, you know, you hire people to try and figure out shit. But no matter how much you try... You just cannot. A camera is always on is not only the controversial feature of the new console, but it seems at least right. Um, do they up? They must have updated this game like every year since it came out. Uh, they will release a new PS4. Uh, it does not have an always online requirement. That's pretty good. It's multiplayer. 
You and your friend can both go looking for your old stake and you won't find it. There's only one ending to this game. Uh... There's a, a clear trend towards adventure games right now. Well, isn't that convenient? Or isn't that convenient? We're getting a lot of research points. Um, can we can we have you boost, train? Can you do a can you do a boost? Can you boost out some uh, stuff, or no? All right, last step. World design apparently is second place. Sound is going to go down a bit. Needs to be about here. Open world. Alright. Graphics are probably important. In this day and age, very important. Um, let's see. Yul's Dick has mini games. Um, alright. So we're gonna get Marion off the, the case. Kevin, he's coming in. Graphics? That's gonna be, uh, Bees McBee's job. No, it's not. Cheese man. Shit. Kevin is in... He's doing two jobs, and he's not stressed. Why can we not find a way to do this? Shiggy diggy. You're paying your staff almost half a million yearly. That's fine. Considering how much money we make every year. Um, who is the least stress? Cheese man is the least stress. Um... We're going to have to bring down design quite a bit in order to make this manageable. We're going to have uh, Bees McBees take over on world design. Actually, no. He'll do that, and then Bees will do that. And then we can bring this down without stressing anyone out. Graphics need to be good. You know what? Colby, you're just going to have to be stressed. Fine. <sighs> they they have changed things and it will no longer require constant internet connection will not place okay. Um Yeah, they kinda fucked up on that one. What kind of noises will bees McBees be making? Uh, you know, dishwasher. Uh, he, he does, on the side, he does a lot of developing his own music, and, you know, the other people, they, they don't so much, uh, support it as much as they put up with it. We're gonna do a large campaign, I can't remember if we did one or not, we have the money to do it twice. Um, this reminds me of that Undertale fanfic, The Fuckening. What in God's name could that possibly be? And do I actually want to know? The hype for this game is unreal. And the design is pretty, pretty impressive. Look at all the bugs being ironed out. Holy shit. Today, the new game platform, the Inbox One, has been released. Alright, and fucking come on. Get that bug out of here. Can you find Yul's dick? Hey! How are you doing, man? I hate to say it, but you seem to have some sort of fixation with Yul's genitalia. Uh, it's not so much that, it's more just getting the truth out there. You know, these people who are buying my games need to understand that you basically cannot find Yul's dick. You know? Alright, well, let's release this game. New research available, no loading screens. That's pretty impressive. Uh, send on vacation. Send on vacation. First reviews for a new release game, Can You Find Yul's Dick, came in. Holy hell. Holy hell. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. God damn it, DJ. How did you... You jinxed us. Very good. 8 out of 10. Almost perfect, says all games. See, all games is on my fucking side now. I used to, I used to hate them, but now they've got their shit together.
All right. Uh, how about we um we train, I guess. Um. Can we get everyone's speed up? What is the, the max speed thing? That. Production management course. Yeah, everyone takes the production management course. I don't care about your other skills. Just being able to pump out shit as fast as possible is what I care about right now. Um, good job. Uh, while we're while we're doing this, I want to show off uh, the games that we've made because I don't think Mike has seen these. Uh, so we just released "Can You Find Yol's Dick," seven point seven five out of ten. Uh, how much shit can I get away with? The government RPG. Uh, how to write words for the iPhone was awful. Sousaphone villain, also bad. We've had a pretty bad time. Cowboy, just simply called Cowboy. Um. Kit Killer, this time Fuck You, which was a sequel to our Punch uh, Fighter game we made. Uh, Hit Your Balls Hard, 2005. The Hills Are Silent. I Can Mosh 2. Poemon Johto. Yol's Cold Pee Pee. Game Dev Tycoon, because the thing fucking wants you to make this game. Um, Cyberhack the Robot Net. Dicks Out for Hombre. Hombre. Why do I pronounce this word wrong? Harambe. Harambe. Let's do some war crimes. How do you fly a car? You don't really matter in the end. Um, that is the uh, nihilist game for chi like children that we made. Uh, Frozen Olaf Dick Replacement was awful. Seth Rogen's Failing Career is a comedy game. Uh, Yul's Tiny Dick. Um... Play with your balls. Harambe Kong 64. Why did you pri pirate Harambe? Sloppy Seconds, the casual RPG uh, romance game. Um, Listen to my dryer, which was a uh, a music game for the SNES. Life after Harambe. Uh, How to grapefruit a man. Anna arm removal. Everyone is a furry. Aliens in space. Listen to my dishwasher, death cannon race, uh, frozen Elsa pregnant knee surgery, peekaboo advanced murder, who the fuck are you, suck my dick, rural dev tycoon, how to get games free, which is a pirate game, quest for brains, punch fighter, and that was our last. Uh, we predicted that it would be over, yes. It was spot on. We were correct that it was successful. So it doesn't have to be a good game. It just has to be a game that everyone wants to play. That's how it works. Okay. Why is her knee pregnant? She, Her knee is not pregnant. She is. I can understand why you'd be confused. Uh, how about you research? You do some training. You do, uh, you cannot do the production management thing. Suck my disc. Suck my dick is a classic of the uh, six or that was an NES game, wasn't it? Um, we'll do a production management course. Yeah, get everyone speed up. Mystery action is a bad com action adventure is a bad combination. Uh, gameplay seems to not be very important for this type of game, and play system and action is a great combination. Okay? Uh, we have some additional insights. These guys are still new to the team. No shit. Well, uh, we'll do some contract work, because we're fucking sitting our hands while we're waiting for Shiggy Diggy to get his shit together. Uh, not create a custom engine, although we should probably do that sometime soon. We'll do some more contract work. Let's, um... Find some more contract work. Alright, everyone is off. They're ready to go. We'll make another game. The 360 is going to be taken off the market soon, so we should probably stop using it. Um... 
We'll make another large game. I don't know what the fucking difference is aside from the price. Uh, uh, we'll make a time travel. Time travel action adventure game, right? For the PC. And it's always going to be for the PC. Uh, the Inbox One, yes, I'll pay a million dollars for that. And the PlayStation 4, because the other systems are basically gone. And um, it's going to be a mature game. No, it'll be for everyone, because everyone needs to experience this. Uh, saving Harambe. You go back in time, you save him. 3D Graphics version 3. Oh, right, we were still doing a thing. Oh god, everyone wants to go on vacation. Uh, we have not done Stardew yet, no. Um... Let's see. Stop with the Harambe games. No. They're some of our most popular and least popular games. All the Harambe games end up being shit. Actually, you're right. Maybe we should stop making Harambe games. Um, so it's an action-adventure game. Story is probably more important than engine, but we can't bring down engine anymore. This game is going to flop bad. Yeah, it's actually looking like it's going to be shit. But we're going to throw some more money at it because it doesn't matter. It literally fucking doesn't matter. I mean, look at the hype generated for this game already. It already looks like it's gonna be awful. Uh, really? Seven games for the Inbox 360. For the total of, like, 200 something million. Pretty good. Oh no, it seems that Can You Find Joel's Dick has had quite a few undiscovered bugs before we released it. Um, we gotta patch it. We're gonna have to patch it. I'm gonna patch it. I'm gonna develop the one million dollar patch. But I'm basically not usable here. Like, okay. So, it's okay, we got Shiggy Diggy to do it. Uh, level design is probably pretty important, apparently. Artificial intelligence, lower. How low can we bring dialogues and still have better dialogues? Okay, good. Patch complete. We did it. Everyone's stressed the fuck out. People are just throwing bugs in. Just for the fuck of it at this point, because they've got nothing else to do. Like, even as an RPG, even as like a simulation, it stresses me out managing this many people. I don't like managing this many people. I love companies like Donglebox Inc. They don't just milk their customers for money. Yep. People love us. Uh, everyone is, is basically on the verge of, of um, just running out the door, stripping off their clothes, and rolling around in the street because they're so stressed the fuck out right now. And um, to their credit, I am too. Uh, but we'll just finish up this game. Uh, we'll finish up this game, and then we'll send everyone on vacation. Um, world design, apparently, probably fairly important. Graphic. Um, now, who is stressed out? Kevin is. Uh, I'm not. So why don't we get... Um, we need to get someone who's design heavy to do the, the world design. I can step up. No, I can't. Marion, she needs to go on break as well. Hector needs to go on break. Kevin needs to go on break. Um, God, Jane does not know anything about design. Just completely does no idea what the fuck design is. Kevin will be the one person who has to stay. Everyone else can uh, can go on vacation. And they all just fade away like ghosts. 
Kevin is just stressed the fuck out. He's stopped working. We're gonna have a large booth for this game. Back when YouTube used to have the star rating system. Oh god. Yep. Okay, why don't you go on vacation? Because you seem like you're about to kill someone. And I really cannot have you going postal right now. Like, our company can't handle that. That's some really bad... Um... Saving Harambe. Let's see what our... If we can get in the top box again, we'll be fine. I mean, there's a reason I've got Kevin's uh, monitor facing me. Because I just... I don't trust him. You know, I figure he's probably fucking around. We're number one booth for like five years in a row now. Um... I'm kind of glad that they've decided where they want the, the buttons to be, because they keep moving. They, they moved them, like, every fucking other month for a while. Getting rid of those bugs. We're going to release it as soon as the bugs are gone. Oh, there's another bug. Please stop that. There we go. Release that shit. Saving Harambe. All right. Some people have immersive storytelling. Wow. I like it. It's the Star Games. Fearing that they'll get, you know, hung up by uh, saying anything other. Nice experience. And um, quirky but good, says all games. Okay. That was awful. That was a shit game. Should've just trashed the game. Everyone was stressed the fuck out, and that was where it went wrong, I think. We're gonna send you on vacation. We're gonna send you on vacation. And, um... The excitement for this game has no end. You're gonna generate the game report. It's gonna be your job for once. Uh, and then we're gonna... We're gonna do some research. And get, uh, advanced graphics, maybe? Something. We need to get something going. Uh, interactive story. Sure. It is a fucking video game. Would... It's like... A yet another platinum game. It's in the millions. We're making money. We're not losing money. And we're gaining fans. Like, we may develop kinda okay games, but people fucking love them regardless of, like, how actually shit they are. Which is great. Advanced story. Okay. What can we get for 30 RP? Uh, not the fuck much. Actually, nothing. We should probably make a new engine. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking into that. Uh, that's a good combination. Dialogue's not very important. Great and great. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of the game. What do you fucking think we did? Go on talk shows and make up features you have no intention of putting in. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll make a new game. Um, another large game. It'll be a, um, a prison, uh, simulation strategy game, uh, for the PC. And the inbox and the play system and we'll use the game engine for this is our 42nd game um, to which we say um, prison pr prison how the fuck do you spell prison Zen that is not a prison how the fuck do you sp it's right there how can I not spell a word that's right there? And it's one of those things that if you say a word enough, or look at a word enough, it just doesn't look like it's spelled right anymore. Anyway, Prison Break 420. Um, blaze it. Edition. There's no other edition of this game, it's just called that. So people think they're getting the special, like, collector's edition, whatever. Um... All right, uh, branching story. Uh, it's a simulation strategy game, so probably not important. 
Uh, story and quests, probably not important in the big scheme of things. Gameplay is probably fairly important, and engine is, is probably about there, yeah. Trying to spell prison correct, yes. Alright. Graphics version 3 in 2008. I mean, it's like... 2010 or 14 or something. Uh, we're gonna hype this game because we hype every single game we make for two million dollars and then we make back several times that. I mean we're making money so I haven't done the actual math on how much that actually does but we seem to be doing okay. I mean we're making 31 million in sales. I don't know how much it costs a month for us to exist. We're make working on a new game. Do we want to talk about it? Um... Uh, world design or graphics, which are more important for a simulation game? I'd imagine, um, graphics, right? Because world design for a simulation is probably not too important. I'm going to go with graphics. Unless if chat wants to stop me. Graphic. Graphics. I mean... There's so much brand loyalty to us at this point that we could just release a fucking piece of shit. Um, and people would love it. In fact, that's what we regularly do. People just buy it and it goes platinum every fucking time. Because we just built up those fans. We release old versions of our, our systems and stuff and people love it. Artificial intelligence, very important. Level design. Kinda, kinda there-ish. Uh, and Kevin needs to be on something. Kevin, why don't you do level design? And Shiggy Diggy, you're on, you're on, uh, Momoko, come here. Come here. Cat. Cat, come here. I'm trying, I'm trying to do my thing. What, do, what are you doing? Hmm. Where are you, you Nintendo? Uh, apparently, yeah. I just have so much brand loyalty that I could literally just not give a fuck and people would buy my games. That sounds about right. Uh, graphics are apparently important. World design, probably not important based on what we learned. Uh, everyone's done a little bit. Shiggy diggy. Um, Colby, you can work on that. Shiggy, why don't you work on that? Colby, why don't you work on that? Um, Momoko is my cat's name. She's weird and she'll actually come when you whistle. whistle. Can you get someone to generate research points or no? Uh, you could set it up so that way they would, yeah. Uh, and we should probably do that. You guys realize, you realize that people are making fan games of Yul's dick. Yeah. Sure. People are already taking bets on how much or what kind of game this is going to be. Uh, 5.5 .5 out of 10. 1 out of 10 are the bets. 10 out of 10. Smash hit. 7 out of 10. People are taking their bets. Take your bets now. Momoko is mostly floof. Uh, we're number one booth again. Good job, guys. We did it. We continue to make just shit fucking games. I won't say we're like the devs of No Man's Sky, because we've released a lot of games and all of them have been garbage recently. But it doesn't seem to matter. Um, are we... are we done? As soon as hype starts going down. We're just gonna go with it. Oh, fuck, we released with a bug. Alright. Later. Later, Mike. Uh, some people have earned raises. And... Celebrity voice acting in Dynamic World. We need to get celebrity voice acting. Um... But actually, you need to go on vacation. Um... Alright, take your bets now. Give you a
couple of seconds. Four out of seven. Four out of seven. Or four out of ten. Four out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven. Seven. Okay, ten out of fucking ten. It's gonna be... Holy shit. A ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Everyone loves it. And, uh... Ten out of ten. Fucking all games! Figure out what we did right. Uh, we gotta get celebrity voice acting. That's just necessary. Uh, we need to get Gilbert Godfrey in on this shit. Like, he needs to be a voice actor on every single one of our games. We're just gonna hire him. Time after time after time after time. Uh, create a custom engine? No. We're gonna, uh, we need to get graphics level 4. Uh, let's see. Game. No, wait. I want you to research. Uh, online play. How much do we need for better graphics? A hundred. Okay. We'll find some contract work. Do that. We can, we can fart that out in like a day. Uh, no? We're still using that. Um, we don't want to give away the thing we're still using, but that's probably a good indication that we should probably, like, upgrade. What the fuck happened to his name there? Well, that's weird. Gilbert Godfrey and Danny DeVito. Normus Reedus, the funky fetus. Um, good. Uh, find some contract work. We'll keep doing contract work, because... We just need to have something to do. A surprise hit of the year. In this type of game, the core mechanics are really important. The developer really nailed it. Simply one of the guess best games I've ever played. Well, there you go. We got 300 million. That's pretty good. You should get a new engine. Diamond. Send tell sell 10 million copies of a game. Wow. It's one of the best games. Truly deserves to be called Triple A. Almost enough research. Wood hire again, and uh, good combination. Quite important for this game, and it was okay. All right, research. Uh, better graphics, and we're gonna send you on vacation because you're starting to get stressed out. And we're gonna send you on vacation, and we're gonna do a little bit more contract work. All right. Uh, we'll find some more contract work. Easy one. Because I don't quite trust these guys to be able to get their shit together. The Rise VR has started. Oh, wow. It looks like a pair of giant ski goggles. That looks pretty cool. First test left some players feeling motion sick. Virtuous support. Okay. We need to get that. It's gonna be the future. Um, how much research does that require? How many points do we need? We're just gonna make uh, online play, virtual economy, orchestra, virtuous support, 100. Don't fall for the VR meme. VR is great, man. Every VR game that I've played has been great. There was no T in that word. Listen, I can put a T in any word I felt like. Um, felt is actually a word. If you are porn games in the future, you can look for Yol's dick in VR. That'd be great. Uh, find some more contract work just to, you know, again, be doing some stuff while I'm continuing to, to finish up. And I'm done, so I'm, I'm, I'm throwing away stuff and... We're going to upgrade. We're going to make a new game engine. I guess. Interactive story. We don't need full motion video. Branching story is pretty important. Linear story is pretty important. It's pretty much got to be one or the other. Multi-platform optimized. Uh, multi... Yeah, well, that's important. Uh, celebrity voice acting. 
Uh, mono sound, stereo sound. And we're gonna call this, um, Real Shit Engine 5. VR hentai? I mean... Look at that shit! Look at that shit go! Holy fuck. We need to start working on getting the research done for the next one. Holy fuck, look at the research coming in for that shit. We gotta develop a new game. Spent over a million on an engine. Yep. And, uh... We're gonna make a new game with it. We're gonna make the next big thing. It's gonna be a large game. It's gonna be a, um... It's gonna be a fantasy, uh, adventure, um, RPG, yeah, uh, for the PC, the play system, and the Xbox One. It uses the new engine, and it's gonna be called A World Where All Games, quotes, the company, um, doesn't suck. Oh, we're out of characters. Uh, how about just all games doesn't suck? It's a fantasy game. It's not real. Uh, because they give us 9 out of 10 on fucking perfect games. Use the- the- we're not doing a fucking text-based adventure game in fucking, like, 2013. Um... Okay, they are mutually exclusive. Good. I was gonna say, that's kind of weird. Um... We're gonna have, a. Uh, it's an RPG, so it needs to have, a uh, branching story. An interactive... It's- it's one or the other, apparently. An interactive story, sure. Uh, gameplay is probably less important, but still important. Uh, enough that I can get all those features. An engine can go down to the point that all those things can be in. Um, okay, good. RPGs are especially popular right now. I just get so fucking lucky with that. Celebrity voice acting needs to happen. We need to get Gilbert Godfrey in there. Uh, playing the part of um, the all games reviewer. Who's just saying stupid fucking shit. Just absolutely... Idiotic crap. Um, we're gonna have uh, dialogues be taken on by. Um, I mean, that's that's important because there's got to be good lines for him to read. You know, read. Um, artificial intelligence can go down a bit. Um, Jeff Goldblum, he can be in it. He uh uh. He needs to uh need to uh. Speaking uh. Incomplete, uh, sentences, uh. Conan O'Brien, he can pretend to be funny. He's actually better than, um, what's his name, who used to be on Saturday Night Live and then got his own fucking talk show where he just sort of laughs at his own jokes and can't actually, like, be a professional. I have a weird growth on my neck. Can you make a game about that? You should see a doctor rather than asking me to make video games about... Your, your your issues. Um, let us see. Shiggy Diggy needs to chill the fuck out. Um, there needs to be a little bit more world design. In fact, a lot more. Sound can come down a bit. Um, graphics can come down to compensate. 
as low as we can while still getting some shit out for graphics and a little bit up and there we go we got it all right um now who do we get doing what uh technology i'm imagining that uh all of this is fairly design heavy hector needs to be on some shit um so how about you do this you're kind of freaked the fuck out though colby uh, you're already doing something. Shiggy is, is freaking out. Losing his goddamn mind. Um, Kevin, take over. Is that good? I feel like it is. I feel like that's about as good as it goes. Okay. We're gonna go with that. Oh, we didn't even hype this game. We're gonna hype this game right the fuck now. Large campaign. Large booth. Is this game the Oblivion Killer? I don't know. Thank you for playing my Vine Sauce uh, Flash fan game. It was good, man. Uh, it's a bit buggy. I don't. It felt like it wasn't done, so it was kind of hard to to see where it was going. But it, it seemed like it was going to be good. Large everything. We've got a lot of people coming in. Number one booth. Seven years in a row, I believe. Someone on After Hours do the fucking math. Because I have not been keeping up. So many bugs. We're going to wait. Fix all the bugs. Then we can release it. There we go. That's a fucking game. And there we go. I think this will be our last game, then we'll um, take a quick break and then do Stardew. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 10 out of 10. Everyone loves it, says Star Games. 10 out of 10. Must have. Informed Gamer says. Um, can't wait for the sequel, says Game Hero. And um, all games thinks it's pretty good, whereas Game Hero thinks it's kind of bad. In comparison. 9 out of 10. What's your fucking issue? This wasn't called Game Hero Doesn't Suck. Why the fuck do you think this game's good? I guess because I was stroking their fucking egos. What happened? Fucking Game Hero. <sighs> We're just godlike in making these fucking games. We're gonna do some research. On, um... Advanced body language? No. Immersive storytelling, maybe. Uh, how about some basic physics and, um... Whatever I just chose. Uh, and... Maybe do a little bit more research? Fucking game reviewers. Give me a fucking break. Better AI. We've gone this long without better AI. We can go a little bit longer. Um, let's do some research. Uh, immersive storytelling. Dynamic world. I mean, I guess that's really one of the only things we can get. Virtual economy. Money. Dwash. Do online play. Uh, competitors are, are jealous. It's been number one for like weeks, man. Um, a perfect example of how dialogues in a game can be so much more thrilling than a movie or a book. At every stage, I feel like I really had choices that were driving the story. Summary, best game ever. Damn straight. This is going to be another diamond ranked game, isn't it? Basic physics. Uh, all games doesn't suck. We figured out that, uh, gameplay is not very important. World design seems to be very important. Uh, adventure is okay for this system, and everyone is okay for this. Okay, cool. Good. Good. We did it. Alright. Has racked up over 10 million in sales. Truly deserves to be called. Uh, we're gonna send everyone on vacation and then save. Because I think that's where we need to end it. Um... How long have I been streaming? Almost two hours. That's why I'm starting to feel a little tired. 
Have I named a game Secret Meme yet? I haven't. That would be a good idea, though. Um, it'll be a hipster game. Getting back to our roots. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're, we saved. We're going to quit out. You can see my desktop. No, you can't. It's just nothing. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Halfway to a billion dollars. <sighs> you need to make a system eventually. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to switch things around. I'm going to go to the bathroom, then I'll come back with Stardew. That's what we're going to do. If you're watching on After Hours, obviously this is not what's going to happen. You're going to you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to get some Stardew Valley, but it'll be tomorrow. Let me get up on that shit. Hey, we're going to do Stardew, too. I stutter through my words, even though I'm right up on the mic, so it's really fucking awkward. Sorry for that. Hello, I'm back, are you? It doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna change the uh, ticker so it actually says Stardew Valley. It's a good game. I've been playing on, not as much as I was when I first got it, but it's a good game and it makes me happy. It's a good comfy game. Pretty late in the day, so good comfy game is a good choice. And we're back. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm going to stop and start stream, which means that um, it'll look like stream will go down for a second. But for those of you that are live, stick around. I'm about to come back with Stardew Valley. For those of you watching on After Hours, thank you for watching. You didn't have to watch all the way through this two-minute thing where nothing was happening. It was nice of you, though. I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Two minutes of basically my theme song being played. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. <laughs> 